Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. We are on day 12 of our one month of yoga. So doing yin yoga today, we're gonna get a nice full body stretch, find a little bit of space to move, and let's get started. All right, let's get started laying down today. So you can find your way down onto your back, Ah, getting nice and comfy. And then option four, Supta Baddha Konasana, making that diamond shape with the legs and the soles of the feet are coming together. Or you can simply uh, extend your legs out nice and long on your mat. But I want you to just be able to relax a little bit. Maybe you're getting a stretch through your hips. Maybe you're not getting a whole lot. That's okay too. Just letting your eyes close and let's find our breath. Just taking these next few moments to let go of your day or whatever it is that you have to get done after this class and just put all those thoughts off to the side. And settle into your mat or wherever you're practicing. So uh, if you are new to yin yoga, we've only done it once before in this 30 days so far. So I encourage you guys to keep your eyes closed for most of the practice today. We're just trying to relax while getting an awesome stretch. So very important to just listen to your body. Whenever you need to move, you move. Whenever you need to stay in a pose a little bit longer, you can stay. And then as best you can, even if it doesn't last for a long time, just see what happens when you find stillness in each stretch each pose we come into today. So we're going to take just a few more moments here. If you do want to reach your arms above your head or even clasp your hands behind your head, and then just let the shoulders be nice and heavy on the mat. Continue to breathe softness into the body. So before you start to move at all, I want you to take one more full breath. So an inhale and an exhale. And now you can kind of start to move whenever you're ready to do so. We will be bringing the knees together and the feet to the mat. And if your hands or your arms are above your head or behind your head, you can simply just bring them back to your sides. So if you want to do a little windshield wiper movement with the legs, just let the knees kind of rock from side to side. Maybe you were really feeling that one through the hips if you were making the diamond shape with the legs. Ah, maybe you want to just be nice and still for 
a moment. But we're going to continue on and get into our hips a little bit more. So you can start by bringing the left knee into the chest. And then we're just going to kind of rock it side to side a little bit. Just loosening up the hip joint a bit. Hugging the knee towards the chest. And you can keep your right leg bent or you could straighten it out a little longer. Hmm. And just notice how that hip is feeling today. So we're going to be coming all the way into half a happy baby. So a nice hip opener, even a glute stretch. So that left knee is just going to kind of fall out to the side a little bit instead of coming right towards the chest. And we're just going to hug that knee in. So if it was to come all the way towards the floor, um, it would hit the floor instead of your stomach or instead of your chest. So it's out to the side a little bit. So you can keep hanging onto your knee, just gently hugging it down. Or if you do want to lift the foot up, and I like to hang onto my foot with just my left hand, just one hand, and then thinking about stacking that heel, that foot right over top of your knee, and then gently encouraging the knee to the floor. So the hip is out to the side, the knee's out to the side, all all good things are coming into that hip, into that glute. You might be feeling a whole lot of love through the entire leg. Half a happy baby. So once you're feeling something, you can just take your right arm, rest to your side, wherever is comfy. And then let's just hold it here for a few moments. Just taking this one as far as you need to. So maybe you don't have the foot today. Maybe you're just hanging onto your knee. Maybe you're still rocking the leg kind of side to side to loosen things up. Just find what feels right, what feels right for you today and just embrace it, enjoy it. So we'll take just a few more moments on this side. If you need to make any little adjustments, go for it. If you're feeling good, stay as you are. If you want to take things just a little, little bit further, maybe think about straightening that right leg if you haven't already. And if it is already straight, think about bringing the back of the knee towards the mat. Just a little bit of engagement through that straight leg. Nothing crazy though. As little effort as possible. <laughs> and then before you start to move, I want you to take that one last breath here. Inhale. And exhale. And then you can slowly start to let the foot go if you've got it. Gently bring the knee in towards the chest. Maybe do a little rock from side to side. And then we're going to let that left leg go all the way out. So either planting the foot on the mat or starting to straighten it out all the way. Take your time. We will be switching sides. So any movement you might need through that left leg, take it. Maybe just being nice and still feels best. But eventually hugging that right knee in, adding your little rock from side to side to loosen things up a little bit. And eventually finding your way all the way into that half a happy baby, or at least as far as you took it on the other side. And then just knowing that we are here for a little bit of time, so no rush to come all the way into hanging onto your foot, gently encouraging that knee towards the floor beside you, 
and then just relaxing most of the body. The only thing really working here is that arm if you're hanging onto your foot or if you're hanging onto your knee. And then let's just relax everything else. noticing if your mind is wandering off and getting lost in all those thoughts, those lovely thoughts. <laughs> and if it is, no judgment, no worries at all. Or just think about coming back to your breath. Just feel the breath. So again, before you start to move, take one last breath here. Hmm. And then nice and slow, you can start to release. Gently bring the knee back in. Do what you got to do. Move however you need to move. And then let's just take a second to just notice all those sensations that we are feeling in the hips right now, in the legs. Ah, so good. <laughs> all right, so we are going to be coming all the way over onto our stomach. You could just roll over or you could switch the way you're facing if you need to be facing forwards, but find your way onto your stomach. Onto your stomach and then onto your forearms. So a little bit of work through our back here and even the front of the body for Sphinx pose. So I want you to tuck your elbows right underneath your shoulders and then take your palms and just place them on the mat or whatever floor you're working with today. So the palms can come down you can even spread your fingers nice and wide. And then we're just going to push into the forearms a little bit to pull the shoulders away from the ears. So you might be looking to your fingertips. You might be lifting the chin a little bit. Whatever's comfiest for the neck. You might even be closing your eyes. But I want you to just keep pulling the shoulders from the ears. So you might be feeling a little something through your back already. Or even through your stomach. If you want more, you could zip your legs together. And if you want less, you can spread your feet wider. But we just want the legs to soften, the hips to melt into the mat. Even the belly button is nice and heavy. And then you're just gently pushing into the forearms and the palms. Finding your breath here, Sphinx Pose. Awesome, you guys, all right. If you do at any time need to come down onto your chest, if this is a lot, a lot for the back, please, please lower the chest, take a break. If you're feeling good, you can stay. You can stay on your forearms. And if you wanna take this further, come with me. Just simply bring the palms out to the corners of the mat. So about one palm distance out. The elbows are still tucking in under the shoulders. And then we're just going to lift the forearms and the elbows up off the mat. So the hips are going to get even heavier. Same with the belly button. Let it fall towards the mat. And then let's drop the shoulders away from the ears. And, and one more thing. Soften your glutes. If you're squeezing your glutes, just relax. Awesome, you guys. And then find the breath. 
So if you did come up onto your hands, this is called seal, seal pose. <laughs> and I'll just show you why it's called seal pose. Oh, again, if you want to take it a little further, you just kind of look like a seal as you move your hands in a little closer towards the shoulders. So the hips are still where they were, they're not moving much, but as you send the shoulders back further, you're just deepening that back bend. So let's push into the palms or the forms wherever we are. We're almost done here, you guys. Drop those shoulders, relax the glutes, and let's take one more breath. Inhale, and use an exhale to gently, gently place your chest all the way down rest a cheek or chin and if you're really feeling that just give those hips a little rock from side to side any movement that feels good or maybe just being nice and still feels best And all right, we're gonna move into our shoulders now. So <clears throat> if you still need to take a moment, if your back is still talking to you, that's okay. You can take your time moving into this one, but it is a little bit of a twist, so it should feel a little good, a lot good on our back as well as our shoulder. So the left arm is gonna come out nice and straight, nice and in line with your shoulder. So your arm is a nice straight line. Then we'll bring the left cheek or ear to the mat so you're looking away from your arm. And then you're just going to turn over. It's like you want to roll over onto your back towards that left arm. But you do not have to come all the way over. So I like to bend my right leg and just plant my foot. You can keep both of your legs straight. And then that right hand, it might stay in front of you. It might find your hip or your low back. And then just relax your head. Breathe softness into that shoulder. You might be getting a nice twist. You might be getting into your chest. You might be getting a number of things. But to take this one even further, you just think about dropping that right hip towards the floor behind you. And if you have really open shoulders you might even be reaching for that left hand interlacing the fingers but I've been doing this a lot for a long time you guys so don't worry about going all the way here just find what feels right for you So let's take that last breath before we start to move. And then very slow, just roll back over all the way onto your stomach. And let's bring the right ear or cheek to the mat. And you can slide your left arm in wherever it is comfy. And then whenever you're ready to get into that right side, you can start to extend the right arm out. <clears throat> Making sure it's in that nice straight line. Drop your ear, your cheek down, so looking away from that arm. And then you can just start to roll over a little bit, a little more. Just go as far as you need to to feel something. And I forgot to say this on the other side, but if you have any discomfort through that elbow of that right arm, you could flip your palm to face up. You can kind of move that arm a little bit, but try to keep it in a fairly straight line. But definitely be nice to your elbow if it's talking to you.
and just really settling in here. Mm. Relaxing through the entire body as much as you can. And let's stay for that last breath here. And then slowly turning over back onto the stomach and just slide that right arm in or maybe even stacking the palms and resting the forehead on top. Wherever you need to be to completely relax the shoulders. Awesome work, you guys. Okay, so we're just going to roll over again onto our back. So you can just roll over or however you need to get there. Ah, laying on down, we'll just reach our arms out to our sides and we'll finish off today again with a nice twist. So taking it a little bit deeper than we did in that shoulder opener. So you can plant your feet on the mat and then let your knees fall over to the left side. Just adjusting those shoulders to keep them down. With your next inhale, we'll start to lift those knees all the way back up. And then you can let them fall over to the other side. Again, checking that those shoulders are still down on your mat. And whenever you become ready, using an inhale, bringing the knees all the way back up. We're going to start to extend our legs out nice and long on the mat. And bring your feet out a little bit wider, at least to the edges of the mat. Oh, and then take your arms to your sides, turning your palms to face up. Setting up for your Shavasana. Our final relaxation, <clears throat> our final pose today. Just letting the body completely relax. And as always, I encourage you guys here to stay. I encourage you guys to stay here longer. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. 
And until we meet again, until tomorrow, <laughs> namaste.